everyone has different attitudes. Attitudes which is the negative one and the positive one. Attitude defines our outlook and approach to life. It includes our inner thoughts and outward expressions. Attitude determines everything we say and we do. And what we say and do determine is our success. A lot of people sometimes cannot control the behavior or the attitudes. Whether it's like stress, stress at work, stress for school, you're mad or ever like angry to everybody attitude refers to our emotions our beliefs and behaviors toward a particular object a person a thing or even an event in fact attitudes are often the result of experience or upbringing they can have a powerful influence over behavior. Our attitude and our values can influence effective communications for like positively and negatively. When attitudes are positive, there is an empathy that exists between those conversing enough so that each side will strive fully to understand what the other is saying in order to provide the best possible response. Why positive attitude is very important for everybody. Attitude holds the key role for effective communications. This is because it helps people connect better and proves to be more empathic. Negative and laid-back attitude does not have a good impact on the audience and even for your work or for other people. To have this positive outcome in our life, we have to plan ahead. Everything. We go to work for our family to get together. Everything have to plan ahead. Planning ahead is very important as making your dream achieving process. By planning ahead, you have become proactive, and good plans shape good decisions. That's why good planning helps to make elusive dreams come true. For planning ahead, it includes your goal which is obtaining you to accomplish and finally reaching the desire of the young dream and things that motivates you, including bringing you pleasure and comfort in your life. Every plan, there is a problem, a situation that is causing you discomfort, frustration, a circumstances that you do not understand or unable to find a solution. We have to do the preparation or the actions of process of thinking about your problem, how to solve it, for obtaining the desired goal. It involves the creation and maintenance of a plan, such as having the right mindset, having the necessary skills, or obtaining the skills of outlining the steps to obtain that goal. Focus and concentration can be difficult to master. Most people want to learn how to improve focus and boost their concentration. But actually doing it will live in a noisy world and constant distractions that can make focus difficult. Focus can only occur when we have said yes to one option and no to all other options. In other words, elimination is prerequisite for focus. Of course, focus doesn't require a permanent no, but it does require present no. You always have the option to do something else later, but in the present moment, focus requires that you only do one thing. Focus in one thing. Focus is the key to productivity. 
because saying no to every other option unlocks your ability to accomplish the one thing that is left. People don't have trouble with focusing. They have trouble with deciding. Focus often fades because of lack of feedback. Our brain has a natural desire to know whether or not we are making progress towards our goals. From a practical point of view, this means that we need to measure our results. If the things we measure are the things we improve, focus on the process, not the event. Even at work, focus on your job that you're doing. Even if you'd rather be doing something else. responsibility for your action simply because you have a deep sense of pride in what you're doing. We all know how stressful life can get and how quickly things can get a little bit of out of control. It's so easy to blame things or blaming other people or other circumstances around you. Stepping up and taking responsibility for what we are doing in our life is one of the most important things that we will ever do and one of the best. Be responsible. Stop blaming others. Stop making excuses. Stop moaning or like moaning your situations. Follow through the promises and commitments. Know what you really want in life. Take an action. Forgive yourself when things go wrong. Break your bad habit. Put it on like a list or like always taking down notes. Identity like the triggers for your denial. And recognize your choices. In all of this, be responsible.
range of possible attitudes can be adapted towards the same situations. And this result in differing behaviors, which led to consequences both intended and unintended. Be appreciative. Always say thank you. Always say how you how's doing. Or like be positive in all aspects of your life.